Boket Tov Chavrim, I'm Stephen Benin. You're watching Israeli News Live here in Munich, Germany. And in behind me here is the scene of Olympia Mall. Uh, thus far, we know that the, the terrorist has been killed. Uh, he is dead. He is a self-inflicted gun wound. The police sent in uh, robots to find out exactly if his body was dead or alive. They saw the body on the floor with a backpack. Everything was all clear around 1 a.m. this morning. As we reported last night, when transit began to open, we saw at 2 a.m. Uh, also, we find out that there has been about nine people that have been killed in the attack there. One did die in the hospital. Twelve were seriously wounded and rushed to the hospital. From what's been pieced together thus far, police have determined that the attacker started inside Olympia Mall, then went out and began shooting uh, in and around the McDonald's that is adjacent to the mall. Also, there is a subway stop nearby here, and as well, he attacked there leaving a rampage of death and destruction in his past. path. Uh, he happens to be about uh, 18 years old. He's an Iranian and German dual citizen uh, that took his own life after the shooting there. This is the second attack in, in the last week here in uh, Munich, or not in Munich, Germany, but in Germany itself, where an Arabic man recently took an ax and went on a subway rampage. It's just a, a tragedy indeed. And of course, we're reminded as uh, Jewish people from Israel that the, the 1972 Munich attack that happened in this very city here where the Israeli athletes were murdered uh, here at a time where Olympics is about to begin again. That was in 1972 on May 5th and 6th of September. It was uh, coordinated by Palestinian terrorist attack. I'm Stephen Benoon with Israeli News Live. Shalom.